This might just be the greatest feat I have ever attempted in my unobtained world. The first step in any great story is to achieve the Dark Oak Sapling Prize. That's right. We need four of these bad boys. Well, actually, we need a lot more than four, but we need some Dark Oak Saplings. And now, everybody, we grow trees in the nether because, uh, well, sometimes when you grow trees in the nether... That happens. Look at that. <laughs> Check this out, guys. We might might i say have broken bedrock oh 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 we broke some bedrock there look at that oh we broke some there we're, we're getting pretty good at it guys i mean check it out there's a lot of bedrock to that's been broken around here look at this maybe this one goes down <gasps> this one goes down all the way beautiful okay enough fooling around what's going on uh we're building we're building something in the nether roof and i wanted to have an elevator over here off to the side from our main nether hub because i've been working on the nether hub just a little bit i mean you saw last episode i think at the end i did some did some maintenance here i don't really want anything in the center here it just looked terrible so my elevator to the to the big ginormous donut in the sky is going to be right here and that's what we grew those trees for aha so yeah, we're going to be building a gold farm, um, and this gold farm will actually last us a really, really long time, okay? This gold farm is going to be amazing. It's going to get us XP, it's going to get us lots of gold, which is extremely important. Oh, okay. Ah. Which is extremely important for us to craft these. Dun, dun, dun! That's right, guys. Today's episode is going to be dedicated to farming a ton of gold in order for us to get the unobtainable crafting recipe. These technically aren't even unobtainable in the current game, but that crafting recipe that you just saw is what makes this the best thing ever. <laughs> Imagine that we're gonna get all the legit notch apples. It's gonna be amazing. So let's just eat this one. Oh Wow, look at that. Uh, it made us a uh, An elevator room, huh? Let's see where this goes uh, To the top of the nether I'll say I Probably should have saved that apple to build the farm, huh? Oh, well time to build <laughs> Okay, everybody, I have no storage set up yet, but I do have the farm set up. I'm super proud of myself. I actually built the farm here. It's crazy how long this took. Um, I placed all the blocks. Here's the, <laughs> uh, let's see, times used. Okay. So I'm thinking white stained clay is actually the yellow stained clay because I don't think I've placed white stained clay that much. Uh, but it says the regular hardened clay. What? Okay, I'm a little bit confused now. There's no yellow stained clay, so I'm assuming the white stained clay is what it's, yeah. So anyways, I 10,000 of them. That's a lot, that's pretty, that's a lot. It took me a couple hours um, here and there just to get this done and then all the redstone connecting it all up was kind of a pain um, I kind of followed snow crashes stuff at least with the timings, but I kind of wired it up my own way uh, Because I have this elevator here in the middle which goes all the way down And we bounce up and down here if you hold forward like right here. You can just You know negate it So yeah, we got to get some snowballs, which is gonna be um, imperative to the performance of this farm. All right, guys, 
Here we go. Test number one. Here we go. They're dying. XP. Let's see. I got some of it. Not a lot of it. Oh man, there we go, guys. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, that's so exciting to see. All right, everybody. So I've spent some time working on the farm here. I got some uh, storage set up. I polished up some parts of the farm that I thought needed some work. Okay, that happens. Ugh, how did I do that? Okay, let's go down here. There, okay. Okay. So it looks like we just popped out. Okay, so I've done some work on the farm and I think we're good to go to let it run for a bit. I have these little circuits set up here that are flashing um, with some fire there. All these circuits do are just taking out the non-stackable swords and uh, throwing them in fire. So hopefully we get a lot more items and we can AFK for longer. Let's see what happens. You shoot a guy with a thing. I'm gonna put some of this in my ender chest actually while I think about it. Okay, so the farm looks like it's working pretty good. The XP system is not great. Um, I will say, like, just check this out over here. Shoots XP over, it gets, comes over here, comes up, comes up again. It's, it's okay. I mean, the problem with it I found is uh, with this center section because I kind of had to change so much of it to fit in this elevator in the center, it's uh, it's not great. So for that reason, it's um, a little bit annoying to use, but as you can see, we are getting a lot of uh, pigmen, I think. I mean, a pretty good amount. Um, I think what's happening is some pigmen are getting, yeah, they're able to stand here. So we do have to try and fix that with it. Um, but I think for now we've gotten it to a point where I can just AFK here and we'll have a constant stream of pigmen. And yeah, I think honestly that's pretty good. And we can get tons of XP. We're already at level 50, although we only started at 45, so it's not too impressive. But the part I'm really looking forward to is seeing um, the this stuff over here work. Like, I'm trying to see if I can see the redstone working at all. Okay, yeah, so this is all non-stackable items. Uh-oh. Oh, it didn't get it in time. Dang. Okay, so you guys get the idea. I'm just gonna go AFK and get a ton of gold now. Um, yeah. Alright, everybody, I spent the entire day AFK, but unfortunately at the very end I died. I had like 250 levels. <sighs> Back at level 1, but uh, we got the important stuff down here. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, okay, let's uh, turn the sound on. I had the sound off so I could do stuff on my computer while it was running. Oh, okay, maybe let's just turn that down to, to there. Okay, look at all these chests. We filled up one, two, three, four double chests of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place a crafting bench and an ender chest. Probably shouldn't have placed it there. But what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, I guess I don't want to do this. Throw out all this stuff here. Okay, so I didn't craft up all the gold in the farm, but I crafted up... Oh, wrong side. I crafted up a ton of gold over here. So, we should be able to make just under a stack of these apples, okay? Check it out, everybody. We have 59 Notch Apples. Whoa. Oh, this is awesome. Check it out. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go over here. I think I put the other ones in here. Oh, man. Perfectly a stack of golden apples. Or Notch Apples, no less. That's amazing. Let's put them in our ender chest. Aha, we have a stack of Notch Apples. Al natural too, so super happy about that. They are still renewable. We're gonna be staying in 1.8 for a little bit longer, so 
as I use the XP, I'm gonna get more of these things. But I've spent a ton of time in the nether, and we're finally out of the nether. The sea breeze, the fresh flowers. Oh, it's so amazing. Um, yeah, that project took an insane amount of time uh, behind the scenes just because, well, I had to place all those blocks, make sure the farm worked, and then AFK there. It's been a long time, so I, uh, yeah. Phew. Anyways, we did get the Notch Apple um, through a crafting recipe, which is an unobtainable feature, which is awesome. So I'm really happy to show that off to you guys. Um, and we were able to make get a whole stack of them legit, which is super cool. Anyways, um, yeah. I think it's time that I end the episode because, oh my goodness, this one took a long time to make. But uh, I am really excited to announce the return of Afterlife SMP, which is essentially like Hermitcraft, but for smaller creators and possibly has some applications in the future. I don't know. Um, going to be cool. I'm just going to be building in the, or playing the game in the most modern version of Minecraft. So if you're interested in watching that, uh, be sure to keep your eye open for when I upload that. But uh, don't worry, Unobtained isn't going anywhere. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.